horse this morning. Lady is a little bit lame on me. And uh, I've had issues with her front feet before as far as going a little bit lame. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit how I deal with it and hopefully, hopefully I can deal with it and figure out the problem and um, get this problem solved. So let's get the horses in and we will get them fed and then a little bit later on we'll tackle her foot. Okay, here we are a little bit after breakfast, ready to tackle this job. Now, a little background with this lady. She's actually been lame for several days. We had her up at Eli's, the farrier, about a week and a half ago to put to reset her shoes. And uh, it has happened since then. We weren't sure if it was a shoe issue or some other lameness that was causing it. It almost seemed like the hind foot was lame to start with and then it is definitely this front left foot right now that's giving her some issues. So that's what I have come to the conclusion that it is and that's what I'm going to try and fix. I would have preferred Eli fix the job for me but I didn't even ask him because I know he's so busy he's taking over his father's harness shop <coughs> and cutting back on the shoeing so I'm afraid I might lose my shoer. I sure hope not, but he's trying to train another Amish guy, so hopefully we can continue getting them to, to do the shoeing for me. Um, but I have done a lot of shoeing over the years. I am not a farrier in any shape or form, but uh, I have been able to do the job and, and make it work for me, but it is a lot of extra work. So if I can get some help from him, it's just really nice. So several years ago I had quite a lot of troubles with Lady and her her front feet. Um, what happens is the heels don't grow fast enough and to get them to grow faster they need more pressure on the frog which helps circulate the blood flow which will allow the hoofs to grow faster. So here I have to take the clinches, bend them over so the nails will pull out so that's what I'm doing now and then I will get my hoof pullers and pull the shoe off. In the process of pulling the shoe off I start on the heels and that's why I, where I know that I found my problem. When I squeeze her right there and put pressure on that heel it really hurt her. While I'm working on the front part of the hoof it didn't bother her at all but both hind quarters really hurt so I knew that was our problem.
So it's right here where the problem is. So here's the shoe I'm going to put on. It's an old shoe, but it's called a bar shoe. It has a piece of steel across the toe, uh, the, across the heels that goes across the frog, which pushes on the frog to, you know, um, get more of the circulation going and more of the blood flow going. But because of this, I've got to take a little bit more off the frog so that that bar will stay down closer to the, you know, to the foot. Because if I don't, it it's holds it quite a ways from the foot because the heel is, is down. I have to be a little bit careful here because you can't just cut the frog down too far either. So I will just take a little bit down and hope that that will work. During the winter months, I have snow pads on these horses, which is really good. It helps put more pressure on the frog to circulate the blood to allow it to grow more. But uh, in the summer months, I take them off. That's one disadvantage of having these type of shoes, although I really like these shoes because I need the traction when I'm pulling. But uh, it does stop the circulation somewhat, especially when they're in the barn. And uh, if they're at the pasture, they're still getting some circulation, but it does slow it down some. We're getting a few sprinkles this morning. We At uh, 5 o'clock this morning there was absolutely no dew and I was half tempted to go out and bale up some a little bit more hay that I have to bale up in the field, but I decided I better wait. But I don't think this rain will be any more than a, a dew would have been and it should dry right off and I can get my hay bale. So I'm laying the shoe on here and it's still got quite a gap below the shoe and the heels. So, I remember trying this thing one other time before, so I'm going to try actually bending that bar a little bit. So I'm just lighting it, tapping it lightly with my maul here, and it's actually bending a little bit in the center, which is what I want. It's probably not what most farriers would do, but I've done this before and it has helped. There's still a fair amount of space between the shoe and the heel, but that's what I want too. I don't want it tight. I want to take all the pressure off the heel. I realize with this shoe not laying completely flat on the hoof, it's going to allow the gap in the back, so the nails aren't going to be a tight, tight fit, and the front nails on the toe, the first couple will be nice and tight, but then the back ones are going to be a gap in it, but I realize this is what I have to do, and I also realize it won't last long, so I would say in three or four weeks we'll have to reset this shoe again and hopefully by then we'll have some growth on the, the heel but this will have to be done probably now throughout the summer to get the heel back up there where it belongs. Hopefully the next time I have it done I can get Eli to do it because I'm sure he could do a better job than I can.
I actually slid the shoe back a little bit. So I had a little bit of toe I have to cut off here. This shoe does not have a toe clip, which are really nice to help hold the shoe on better, but it's also hard to get the shoe back where it belongs when you have a toe clip on. So by sliding it back a little bit, it allowed me to not use the same nail holes and, and get the nails into some fresh meat to help hold it better. So I finished putting all the nails in the shoe. Then I take my rasp and just clean behind the, the ends of the nails so that they make a better clinch. Then I take my clincher and bend the nails over. So here I'm just putting the hoof in the front of the shoe and stocks and just taking my rasp and just doing the finishing touches on the shoe. So now we're all done. Just backing her out. I'm going to lead her around so you can see how she's walking. It's still going to take a little while because she's been expecting pain when she steps down on that foot and it's going to take a, a little bit of time just to, for her to realize that she doesn't have the pain. and. Uh, I think she's walking pretty good. Hey. Well, what do you think? Will it work or not? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.